Hey everyone, it's James George with Create a Beacon, and this week I'm going to talk about how to create patterns inside of Illustrator. And uh, if you've used Illustrator for a while, this is a feature that I was really excited to see added because vector patterns are extremely uh, popular right now just because of the fact that you can expand them and uh, they're super editable and it's just really awesome. So uh, if you've not used the Pattern Maker tool in Illustrator, this is, uh, you're going to love this. So let's get started. If you go over to uh, Illustrator and uh, just set up your document like normal, under the uh, window section you'll see Pattern Options. And so here you know you'll you'll be using this and so if you want to create a pattern just go to object pattern make and so what it's going to do is it's going to create a new pattern in the swatches panel and this is uh, to make it easy for you to access these later and I'll show you how to save them and all that stuff here in a second so you've got your window open basically and this little square is where your pattern is going to be. So let's just take a basic shape. Let's say we're going to take a rectangle and no stroke and let's change the fill to something that we can see. So let's take a blue fill and if you look at the pattern options section uh, it's the name is new pattern and then you've got a tile type you've got grid brick by row um, brick by column hex by row hex by column okay if you're just opening this for the first time sometimes they have something that is uh, one of these two may be checked size tile to art and move tile with art make sure that those are unchecked because I, I've tried to to work with those checked on before I didn't know what they did when I, I first the very first time I used this and it it just you know caused chaos whenever I did something it moved and it just threw everything off so make sure you have those unchecked uh, the width and the height is the width and the height of the pattern that's going to be repeated and this is important because if you want a small very small pattern you're going to change the size of that tile because this tile 10 points by 10 points is going to be repeated over and over and over again and so if uh, your tile is 100 pixels by 100 pixels it's going to be repeated over and over again at 100 by 100 pixels so that means that your pattern overall is going to be larger in scale so let's let's get started I'm just gonna drag out four four boxes if you hold down the alt key and I'm, I'm going to just drag one next to that then hit command D to duplicate it I didn't do that straight so give me a second I thought I was holding shift but apparently I wasn't so hold shift when you drag over and then hit command D so then what, what you'll do is select all those and make sure it's a, the same size as your box 100, or 100 points by 100 points so from here um, you can change the colors so we'll go over to swatches and change one box to red one box to uh, that sort of yellowy green and then the next box will do uh, like a dark blue and so you get the idea of your pattern but you can see that it's it's sort of breaking up a little bit so what I do just to make sure because the boundaries of this box are okay to be broken uh, it doesn't it doesn't matter just as long as the pattern repeats so if you see something breaking up then it's perfectly okay if you hold down the alt key 
while you uh, drag one side, the other side will scale in unison. And you can see there that they scale, um, you know, side by side. Now, if you hold shift, it's going to go out and scale to size. You don't want to do that. So just let go of shift and make sure that they overlap. And there's a vertical stripe pattern instantly. And you just, um, you could say vertical stripe. And then if you're going to name it, um, you know, I usually add the first letter of every color. So I might say LB for light blue, R for red, Y for yellow, DB for dark blue. And so I know what that pattern is going to be. And I'll, I'll go ahead and save it as a copy just to make sure that I have it. So now you have this, this pattern. And if we say done, then let's say you create a design. Now let's just say this is, uh, you create a shape or something of that effect. So then if you go over to swatches, if you click on your swatch, see it, it saved it anyway, even though it didn't, it was blank when I was inside the pattern maker, which will tend to throw you off. But if you create something that you don't need, you can always just hold down the, um, the command key and select it and then go to trash. So I don't have that extra pattern. So with this selected, you're using this light blue swatch, but you can hit the vertical stripes, and there's your repeating pattern. That's it for this week. I'm James George, and this is Creative Beacon.